world think about them they are all very temporary very temporary the only thing that remains is your relationship with Allah a person who committed adultery how long was he satisfied for a few minutes a person who gambled and won a lottery for example how long was he happy for sure go and google those who have won big big lotteries most of them depressed a lot of them suicidal some even committed suicide but they won millions and billions Do you know why there was no Allah in that link. That's why. Those who have gone to the clubs, what did they gain? A little thing. For a short period of time, they felt good. After that, <laughs> reality strikes. You become even more depressed. Those who resort to alcohol to solve their problems, instead of resorting to Allah to solve their problems, the alcohol makes them forget. I spoke to a Muslim brother, unfortunately, on intoxicants and drugs. And he told me, I've got too many problems. So I said, so you are adding to your problems. That's what you are doing. You are adding. Yes. Every sniff or pull of weed is a problem. It's a big problem. One more pull. And now people are saying, ah, but it's legalized. <laughs> legalized. What legalized? Subhanallah. In Islam, eh, the rules will remain the same. Isn't alcohol legalized in many places? Does it make Islam uh, change? No. Alcohol is legalized. Adultery is legalized. So many things are legalized where we who have chosen to be Muslims have chosen to be disciplined. We will follow what Allah says. Allah says, don't do it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala strengthen us. Brother, you can leave that tissue there, inshallah. Someone is bringing tissue. I can see it's okay. We will sweat it out today. It's kind of. So my brothers and sisters, it's very interesting to see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us a chance to prove ourselves. If I were to ask you how many of you would like to be billionaires here, I think I don't even want to say it because more hands would go up than a religious question. Right? But if I were to ask you when you get a billion, what are you going to do? You will have embarrassing answers. Wallahi. You follow what I'm saying? Embarrassing answers. What we want to do, say, Oh Allah, bless me with the millions, bless me with the billions, and prove to Allah that when I have it, let's see what I'm going to do. People are worried that man has a lot of money. What is he doing? Go and see. He's doing a lot of good work. Subhanallah. He's doing a lot of good work. She's doing a lot of good work. What about you? The first 20 that you got in your pocket, it went into the wrong direction. Allah says, ah, I'm not going to give you more. Because I know when I give you, look what you are doing. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease. You follow what we're saying? So, my brothers and sisters, let's work hard. Let's contribute to community. Let's contribute to society. We need to build. We need to build our morals and our values. We need to have a system whereby we take care of each other. Look after your wives. Look at her as the daughter of someone. You know, many of our wives, and I'm saying our wives because the majority of men, I'd like to think, uh, Astaghfirullah, forgive me if I'm wrong. Maybe Khan is an exception, but I doubt it. Many of our wives, they suffer in silence. Is it right? The men are saying yes. How, how ironic. Subhanallah. They don't know where to go. This man is number one, adulterous. Number two, they think because they have the money, they can go and do what they want. They drink alcohol, but they read salah at the same time. How is this happening? How? Allahu Akbar, you have wealth. Allah is watching you and He's going to take your wealth away. He'll take your happiness away. He'll inflict you with disease, with issues, with problems. How? When you have been blessed, respect others. Allah will give you respect. The Prophet ﷺ says the best from amongst you is not the best with the billion, not the best with the million, not the best with the best car and house. He's the one who can respect his wife and treat her with utmost respect and be kind and the best to her. That is the best of all men. Subhanallah. How many are good men here in Kanu? I see one hand at the back. Jazakallah khair, my brother. May Allah bless you. May Allah bless you. Try your best, honestly. Make it your own challenge. And my dear sisters, don't start developing a big head and say, did you hear what happened here? You heard what the Sheikh said. No, no, no. It's give and take. It's give and take. We also need to carry ourselves with respect. Look after the wealth of your spouse. Look after his dignity. And it should be mutual. It should be both ways. Subhanallah. We look after each other. We look after each other. And that's how it should be. Take care, but respect. You know, in the Quran, Allah has named an entire surah 
after a woman who complained about her husband to the Prophet Sallallahu and she was complaining actually to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala she complained, the Prophet ﷺ was telling her to wait, to hang on, etc. And Allah revealed verses to say, Allah has heard this discussion between the two of you. Allah heard this woman who is coming to complain to Allah. She's talking to you, complaining to Allah about her condition. The husband doesn't sleep with her. That was the problem. Subhanallah. Imagine how embarrassing it is for a woman to go up to someone like the Prophet ﷺ and say, this man doesn't sleep with me. He considers me just like his own mother. A'udhu Billah. It's so embarrassing, but it happened. It is mentioned in the Quran because we need to learn a lesson that to fulfill the rights of your spouse that are the base desire. That is absolutely your duty on both sides. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for us. I said, don't bring the tissue, but he still brought it. May Allah forgive you, my brother. Zakallah khair. It's kanu. They do what we say, don't do. Allahu Akbar. It's okay, brother, I'm enjoying the heat. You know, people pay to go into a sauna, wallahi. They pay money to go into a sauna. At least here we get it free of charge. No, alhamdulillah, that's one of the five star. It's a sixth star that you need to add, say, free sauna. Allah bless you guys. I really don't mind. Honestly, it's not, a, it's not an issue with me. May Allah bless you. So, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us certain things. Number one, and this is in no specific order, right? No specific order. He gave you your health. You know what? He's going to take it away. He's going to take it away. You are healthy. You can walk. A day will come. You won't be able to walk. A day will come. You are not healthy. Every one of us, we suffer some form of a flu, some form of a cough, some form of a sickness with our health through the year once or twice, right? Don't make like you can't, it doesn't happen. Am I right? Yes. Thank you. So it happens once or twice. It might not be a serious thing, but it's Allah showing you, you know what? Your health is so delicate. It's in our hands. If you're not going to rest properly, you're not going to do this properly. And sometimes even if you are so careful with your health, you still develop. Those who are so careful, sometimes they develop bigger sicknesses. It's Allah. And Allah is showing you, subhanallah, that you know what? This is a gift. We are going to take it away. It's temporary. It is very temporary. Subhanallah. Your health is going to go away. So while you are healthy, what are you doing? Ask those who cannot read Salah anymore standing. When they were healthy, did they read Salah on it? Did they even read Salah? That's a question. Did they fulfill their Salah when they were okay? No, no. They were busy using all of that in something else. Allah says, well, we're going to take it away. And that's why there is a, an ayah in the Quran which says those who did not used to do sujood, those who did not prostrate to Allah, those who did not do salah in this world on the day of judgment, they won't be able to do sujood to Allah. Thank you so much for listening to the short message. I pray that it has increased you in a little bit of motivation and hope. And the same applies to all of us. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.